Many Americans are living paycheck to paycheck and carrying high rates of student loan and credit card debt. And while establishing a good relationship with money can help prevent some of those outcomes, not enough K through 12 schools include financial education in their curriculum. Schools First Federal Credit Union's purpose is being champions for school employees and their families. Here to talk about helping children build a healthy relationship with finances is financial education specialist Brittany Owens. Hey, Brittany. Hello. I like this topic. So why do you think building a healthy relationship with money can fall by the wayside sometimes? So it can fall by the wayside because talking about finances with children can be extremely tricky, yeah. especially if they're really little. Yeah. Keeping their attention span that long talking about finances could even be more difficult. Yeah. But if we're able to break that barrier and have these conversations, these little kids, they're gonna have such a great future when it comes to their finances. Yeah, you were talking about keeping the, t the children's attention, even with adults, including myself. You know, <laughs> if you don't simplify, simplify it for me, it can be a little difficult to stay, to stay tuned to it all. So where's a good place to start when looking to initiate these conversations with the kiddos? So a great place to start is having fun with the money. So if we have a little one between the ages of three and four, make it fun with their everyday play. Mm. Elementary age, Give that young one maybe $20 for their birthday. Allow them to go to the store, okay. buy their own gift, okay. give them a kid-friendly calculator, so that way they're making sure they're not going over their budget, include that sales tax as well. Mm -hmm. But let's say the child's older, middle school, yeah. high school. Have them create their dessert that they want for dinner. Have them create their own grocery store list, create the dessert, they're gonna need flour, milk, and eggs and they may be surprised on how expensive the eggs are right now, but allow them to go to the grocery store, get their budget together, make the purchases, and then create that, their dessert for dinner. Yeah. So allow them to create their own budget. And it's really helping them understand the concept of money from the beginning, because I know my dad would be like, you think money just grows on trees. So I like how you said creating the dessert, understanding like how much it costs to get the ingredients, mm -hmm. gives them that understanding of it, but simplifying it, like you said. What about savings? So when it comes to savings, mm -hmm. yes, putting money away into a piggy bank, great place to start. Yeah. But make it fun. If you're going on a family vacation, maybe create a chart, a saving chart, put on the refrigerator. Every time the child gets it to a certain goal, give them a sticker. Celebrate them achieving that goal. Mm -hmm. If the child is older, have them do maybe some household chores. chores. Every time they do the chore, pay them allow them to use their own money on the vacation to buy whatever they want. Mm -hmm. A t-shirt, some socks, whatever they want, allow them to use their own money and to create that budget with their finances. Okay, see, I say the chores thing does work. I knew when I wanted something, I'd clean, be like, so can I go to my friend's house? I to the movies. So <laughs> exactly. Long, they're getting the reward while doing something that's helpful. So it's smart. Yes. What other advice would you give to help kids to practice good money habits? So becoming the role model with your finances as being, you know, the parent, the guardian, the uncle, the aunt, big brother or sister, being a role model. Yeah. Teaching them the difference between their wants versus their needs. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are a lot of wants out there, but if you're being responsible with your money, young ones are always mimicking you. Mm -hmm. And if you're showing good money habits and becoming a role model, as this young one is getting older and older and getting their own paycheck in the future, they may feel a lot more comfortable coming to you to ask about future finance goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. So those are some great do's. Now let's talk about the don'ts. What don'ts should we avoid when talking about money with kids? So in a lot of families, talking about money can be considered taboo. Yeah. We want to get away from that. Talking about finances is extremely important. Talking about savings, investing, budgeting, credit, Starting this conversation at a young age is gonna help these children be successful with their money. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, they're kind of scared. Well, where do I start talking about finances? I'm not a teacher, I'm not a professor when it comes right. to talking about money. You can go to our website. Um, we have YouTube videos, we have webinars, we have mm -hmm. workshops. In our YouTube videos, there's cute little cartoons that you can have for young children to watch. And we have um, sources available for college students as well and high school students. Yeah, I like that. Would you say, is it helpful for kids to learn from their parents directly? Like the pros and cons and just understanding money a little bit better. Yes, mm -hmm. very important because you're with your parents and guardians every single day. Yeah. So if you're becoming that healthy role model, yeah, they're gonna be seeing you mm -hmm. do great things with their money. They're gonna see you saving. Hey, I'm getting paid today. Let me put some money towards my savings. Let me put some towards an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people do not have $400 an emergency fund right now mm -hmm. to cover an emergency that could happen. 
So teaching our young ones in advance, like, hey, you need to save for these rainy days that can happen in life. Yeah. and just having the conversations. Yeah, and it's having those role models, whether it's a parent, a guardian, a teacher, they're always, their kids are sponges, so what you teach them, they're absorbing it. And yeah. our viewers can always go to one of your branch locations for more information, correct? Yes, we have multiple locations mm -hmm. in Sacramento, Yuba City, Placerville as well, in Southern California. All right, Brittany, always a pleasure having you on. Yeah, thank you. You bet, and for more information, you can go to schoolsfirstfcu.org.